Today's video is all about home buying tips for 2021 where it's a seller's market and buyers, well, it's really difficult for you. So I'm going to give you some tips about how to avoid the bidding wars altogether. Hi, I'm Norris Bangler and I'm a realtor with Rogue Real Estate here in Bend, Oregon. If this is your first time to my channel, would you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and click the subscribe button below and that way you'll get notified every week when I make a new video. So I'm going to give you five tips for how to avoid a bidding war altogether. It's not always possible, but if you follow these tips, maybe it'll work for you. Tip number one is find the ugly duckling property. Yes. Find the house that nobody else wants to buy because you won't have a line of 25 people writing offers before you even see the property. Now, an ugly duckling can be, um, maybe it's not the greatest location. Maybe the yard needs a lot of maintenance. It might be hidden behind a bunch of nasty bushes and trees. But the ugly duckling can become the beautiful property with just a little bit of effort. So don't discount the properties that look poor, that look bad from the photos online. Make sure you dive in and check out each property and see if it might work for you. If you're thinking of moving to Bend, click the link below for my relocation guide and I'll send that right out to you. Tip number two is search above the price point that you actually think you can afford. Now, that might sound strange. What that does is it helps you to find properties that are overpriced. Now, in this market, you might think that wouldn't happen, but it does. There's a property one street over from me and it is priced way higher than it should be. And I'm pretty sure in the next few days or weeks, the price is going to come down. So I'm saying get ahead of the game and make a lower offer on a property that's overpriced. Now, you can't do that on a property that is fairly priced at market value. So you're gonna need an agent to help you figure that out, but it might be well worth some effort to check out properties that are well above the price you think you can afford and see if maybe you could bring them down into your price range. Tip number three, look for homes that have really awful online photos. They might be great properties when you see them in person, but the agent just hasn't really done their job and they don't look that great online. Many people will just go right by those properties. They'll never call, make an appointment to see them because they just don't look that great online. So make sure you check out all the details of the property and if you think it could work for you, call your agent make the appointment and go see the property in person. Tip number four, broaden your search criteria. So I know there's gonna be certain things that every buyer has to have. If you have to have three bedrooms and two bathrooms and a yard for your kids, those are must haves, right? But maybe you can do without the air conditioning. Maybe you can do without a large kitchen or a kitchen island. Maybe you might be open to different neighborhoods and you can drive through some of the neighborhoods that maybe you haven't really thought about living in those areas, but if they satisfy you, then you can broaden your search to different neighborhoods, different home styles, even consider a townhome or a condominium. Now I know most people want a single family home, but if you can broaden your options, it's going to help you get into a house. And if you're so my last tip is just really think about this. Most people sell their home in five to seven years. So unless this is your very last home that you plan to buy, like maybe the home you're retiring into, if you're younger or a young family, if you just moved to Bend and this is your first home in Bend, maybe you can stretch a little bit on your home requirements because you're probably going to sell this property in five to seven years. So think in a little bit shorter time frame, and maybe this is a home you can add value to. Maybe it needs some cosmetic fixes. You know, can you upgrade it a little bit? 
so that when you go to sell it, it's going to be worth more. So be open to more properties. Thanks for joining me for this video today. I look forward to seeing you again next week.